Zika may be new to America, but the world has suffered many outbreaks. Despite its ability to globetrot and spread, some third world countries are actually winning the battle with mosquito-borne diseases. Our Paul Tilsley in Africa. Zika virus outbreaks have traveled the world, crossing continents and oceans, infecting millions of people. It all began in Africa. Not just the first human life as we know it, here at the cradle of humankind near Johannesburg, but the Zika virus itself was discovered here on the continent. In 1947, scientists in Uganda, in East Africa, were researching diseases such as yellow fever with monkeys when one became sick with a new virus. The scientists decided to name the virus after the forest in which the monkey was found, Zika. And then, to the best of our knowledge, it kind of went under the radar screen in Africa and in Southeast Asia. And the first outbreak was in 2007 in the islands of Yap. And it was very, very recognized because it was an explosive outbreak. 75% of the island nation contracted the Zika virus and then it disappeared again. In 2013, 20,000 in Polynesia were diagnosed with the disease. And then in 2015, there was an outbreak in a, what we call a highly vulnerable region and population. And by highly vulnerable, we mean you have a group of people who have never seen this infection before. So there's no underlying immunity in the population. Brazil has registered more than 100,000 suspected cases of Zika, with 1,700 newborns potentially afflicted with microcephaly. The virus has spread through South and Central America, the Caribbean, and now into the continental United States. As of May of 2016, 7,557 suspected cases of Zika have been found far from Brazil, in the Cape Verde Islands, off the coast of West Africa. Recently, a traveler brought the virus into South Africa. Now the Zika virus has come full circle, has landed back here in Africa. The flying range of a mosquito coming to attack a victim is only around 150 yards. But the wings of aircraft have carried international travelers infected with the Zika virus to create a health crisis across the world. Travelers like a businessman from Colombia, South America, who complained of feeling feverish when he came through this airport here in Johannesburg, South Africa. He consulted the doctor and they submitted the blood sample to um, a local pathology laboratory who then forwarded the sample to us for um, testing for Zika and for confirmation. Dr. Petrus Janssen van Furen knows the first step in fighting any virus is testing and reporting to health officials. The crisis will depend largely on how well the world responds to the, um, the current situation. Clearly, if you can pick up or identify the first case, you can put in place uh, appropriate measures to prevent spread. And that's really what you want. Confounded critical accusations that Africa is third world, South Africa prides itself on its rapid diagnosis testing facilities. Professor Lucille Bloomberg is deputy director of this world-class lab that has had great success saving lives. South African Malaria Control Program has been very successful. We had a peak of 67,000 cases in 2000-2001 uh, um, and the uh, number of cases down to 12,000 a year now and we're moving towards malaria elimination. Maputo, the capital of Mozambique, is an African city very similar to Brazil's Rio de Janeiro. Although the Zika virus is not here, the type of mosquito that carries it is here. And Mozambican mosquitoes carry other deadly diseases. This is the seventh poorest country in the world, yet the death rate from malaria has been cut down by two-thirds in recent years. We've come here to see if there are lessons that can be learned by Brazil and the US in the fight against the Zika virus. At first sight, Maputo could be Rio. The slums are here, the people speak the same language, Portuguese, young people are said to be wannabe Brazilians and like to eat and dress like Brazilians. They party to their favorite music, the samba. We do have a mosquito here, but the virus not yet. But Maputo's experience fighting mosquitoes that carry malaria 
has lessons for Brazil and the U.S., says Dr. Francisco Mofana. Our approach was really, first, we have to make sure that people they recognize that malaria is a problem. Because there is no, any, any public health intervention that is cost effective if people they don't use it. People are taught to clean and remove tall grass around their homes. Standing water is eliminated because that's where the mosquitoes breed. Indoor spraying is necessary and for pregnant women, those most at risk, there are free mosquito nets for them and their children to prevent nighttime biting. The final lesson from Mozambique and South Africa to the US when it comes to the Zika virus is simple but essential. Be vigilant.